In this video, we'll talk about a new feature from DigitalOcean's app platform. We now have the ability to deploy mono repos. This is really cool because app platform excels at letting us deploy multiple components, whether that be a front end and a back end and a database. What's great about mono repos is that we can put the front end and the back end all in one repo and have app platform deploy it. I have a sample mono repo right here. I have a couple folders, API, front end, landing, webhook, and worker. Each of these can be a component that is deployed to app platform. In this demo, I'm just going to do the API and the front end. Let's go back to the dashboard here. I'm going to click GitHub. I'm going to search for sample mono repo. Click that. We'll stay on the main branch. We'll auto deploy code changes. I'll click next. And this is where the magic happens. We can see that app platform couldn't find an app in this repo. And that's because they're all buried underneath subfolders. So we can say, hey, app platform, I want you to look in the front end folder. Click find directory. It went ahead and found that the front end directory had static assets. So we'll be deploying this as a static website. No build command needed, output directory is auto. And this will be the forward slash. So this is gonna live at the root of our URL. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Here is our name for our static site. It'll live at static site.ondigitalocean.app. I'll go ahead and click next. Static sites, we have three free. You can see monthly cost down here is zero. I'll click launch starter app. We have our application deploying now. It's going ahead and pulling from that front end folder. We now have our application live. You can see it at sample mono repo. Next up, let's go ahead and go into settings and let's add a component from the same repo from a different folder. I'll click add component. This time we want a web service since we're going to be adding that API folder. Now we get to choose from GitHub again. We get to say the same exact repo, sample, mono repo. Same branch, I'll click next. It says again that we couldn't find an app in this repo. We have to direct it to a specific folder. I'm gonna say, let's go to the API folder and click find directory. A Golang service is found. It is under the API folder. It is of type web service now, not just a static site. It's a web service this time. And here, HTTP request routes, it's a sample mono repo too. I want to change that. I want this to live at slash API. So now our front end will live at the root of that URL. And then our API will live at slash API. I'll click next here. Name our web service. We'll call this API. I'll click next. Here we'll pick our plan. We can stay on the $10 a month plan. We can also choose the $5 a month plan. And now our entire site, including the static site will be $5 a month. I'll click launch web service here. API has been created and added to sample mono repo. So now we have two components, our backend API, our front end sample static site. We now have our application deployed successfully. We have two components, the API and the front end, all deployed from the same repo. And that's how we use mono repos on app platform.